hello guys so today i'm gonna show you how does your car sound when its battery is dead so when you switch your car on your dashboard lights up and then when you try to start it see it like dies in the mid of the starting process like this sometimes it will try with the with whatever energy the battery has but again your your battery doesn't have enough power to uh, power the starter motor and this is what it sounds like so this is the indication that you should change your car's battery hello guys so this is my Datsun go plus so today i'm going to replace its battery since its battery has drained and its life got over so i will show you how to replace its battery let's get started starting with open the gate and then pull this knob to open the bonnet you will hear this noise okay and now so let's see how to open the bonnet. So what I'm going to do, you have to insert your hand like this and you will see a lever kind of thing. So you have to push the lever leftwards like this and then lift it. This is how you open the bonnet. So now the bonnet is open and now we can see the engine compartment and the battery compartment. So here is the view. Starting from left, you can see this is the intake engine. Okay. And this is the intake box, air box. And this is the battery. So how to open this battery? So what we have to do is first we are going to open the terminals so to open these terminals you have to unscrew these nuts this nut and then pull this plastic cover and screw this nut so as you can see we have this plastic cover we'll uh, pull this cap like this and we'll unscrew this nut both the nuts and then after we'll unscrew these lock nuts one and two and then we can remove the battery from the car okay ten number ten like this you can see it is getting loose sorry so this one is loose enough so you can see it is loose enough similarly do it for the other side see this is the hook kind of thing so this which is uh, kind of stuck in this mount so now i'll show you this right so now what we have to do we have to gently pull it back push it backwards right see so first do one thing fully loose this nut so that uh, it can these hooks can be easily taken out right now see it is loose enough now simply so after you lose it enough so you can easily take this out see it this hook right the mount which is holding your battery from the car is this so it is out now now my battery is free so it can be taken out so i will keep it now take your battery out you have a hook or kind of holder in it so do it like this and now take the battery out of the car 
that's it so this is my old battery that is xcaid 34b20 lmf and i have got this new amaron battery and this is 38b20l know this and now we are going to mount this new battery so first put all the plastic covers out So after unwrapping your plastic cover, just put the hook like this, take the battery with you and don't forget, don't take these plastic covers out until you mount this battery into your car, right? Take the battery and I'm going to put this into this base here. So for safety purpose, what I will do, I will put this plastic basing plastic here so that there is no more rusting hey it is not bad if you put this so let's mount this don't forget one thing keep the positive terminal leftwards and the right uh, negative terminal rightwards right so this is my negative this is my positive now it is in place now i'm going to mount it using that holder putting this back so that my battery is re uh, remains rigid with my car so put it like this Good. after you put your hook will uh, just ensure that this hook this thing this goes into the hole which is there okay and now this that's it i'm tightening this i'm tightening this not don't tighten it very much but yes enough so that it does not have any play play means when you try to move this it should not move it should be rigid enough Cool. So the new battery is there in the car. The last thing what we have to do we, is we have to put the terminals. So how do we put the terminals? So simple. So initially, see, I put the positive terminals. Simply put the positive terminal. I have not tightened this. Take this negative terminal. Put this like this. Okay. push it a bit if you can both now tight this see i have tightened my nut uh, the battery is nuts not my nut sorry and like this you are all set and then put it like this and you are good to go so your battery is connected now we have to check whether it's starting or not so it may happen that after putting a new battery your car doesn't start because the new battery sometimes is not charged enough so let's see if it starts or not the power came good let's see if it starts whoa superb see started amazing so this is how you connect your battery and you can replace your battery without paying to any mechanic or some someone it's so easy thanks for watching